Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I'm continuing my series on how to sing like, and next up is Klaus Mine from the Scorpions. If you don't mind, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. That'd be really cool. Don't forget to ring the bell so I can keep new cool videos coming your way. You'll get notifications for that. Uh, and I have a singing course, and that course is called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. You can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com, where we actually walk you through, I walk you through step by step how these singers got great in hopes to help make you great at singing. So Klaus is no exception. Uh, one of my favorite metal singers, as you know, they hail from Germany. And I got a chance to work briefly with their producer Dieter Dirks um, way back in the day. And uh, also a little brief stint, and very little I mean by that, uh, singing songs like Balls to the Walls. <laughs> anyway, uh, when du du uh, Udo Dirk Schneider uh, left, uh, left the band um, early on, what another German band Dieter was working with. So uh, with that said, I'm going to get started with Still Loving You. Now, Still Loving You um, is, uh, to me, one of the most epic Scorpion songs. So it's the lighter side of the Scorpion. So, you know, they have a lot of Rocky Like a Hurricane and all these other Love Drive, a lot of other really great rock songs. Um, this is more on the ballad side, but it's still a very difficult piece to sing, especially all the way to the end. Now, I treated it a little differently than Klaus because, you know, again, I, I like I said, I have a little more girth in my voice. And I try, I chose not to use as much nasality as Klaus does because he uses a lot of nasality. But we'll do it first and we'll talk about it as we go. So let's fire it up. Here we go. Okay, now, at the beginning of this, what he does is he uses a lot of air, you know, love, only love, right? He's only love, only love. So I'm not kidding. I really want you to try this. I want you to go only love, only love, and get really, really high up into the front of your face and then add a bunch of air to this and sing it. Love, only love. Can you do that? And then can we? And then you can kind of go, you can lean up into the sound. Now, he uses a lot of air to give a lot of emotion in the sound. And I think I actually even use more intensity than he did in the original. Um, and I'm going to put these songs in the description. I'll put them um, so you can hear the full versions because I'm not going to do the full version. But I'll hit the main points of it to show you kind of where his approach is. So anyway, so yeah, it's a lot of air like this to the sound. And then the second he goes up to hit the rock voice, bam, he just slams you with, you know, the Klaus Mine, you know. Some people People called him what the German Dio or something. He kind of might be actually a little bit when you think about it. So, anyway, so let's get to the next part here. Here we go. What a great song. Man. Baby, try to trust in my love again. I will be there. So on this verse, you know, try, baby, try. Right, he's starting to add a little more voice to the sound. So he starts out real gentle on it with a lot of air. And then he's not quite as nasally on it. I suspect because it's harder to sing with that much air up high, maybe not the case for him, but is for me, uh, and I know I, I would do this, um, is that so as um, as you're singing up high, you, you add all that air, it's harder to get to sing up that high with that much air and add any voice to it at all, any actual resonance. So in mixed voice, a percentage of chest voice, it's harder to do that. So here he steps up a little bit, kind of 50 50 you know 50 percent um you know airy sound with a kind of little head voice mix sound and then he starts to lean and add some uh some of the chest resonance sound to it also i will be there love our love should 
Now, one of the things I like about this part, sorry for stopping and starting and stopping so many times, is he goes, love, bam, he just hit, I love, her. you know, he just, he just kills you, so he starts a real light, real light, and then, I love, I love, shouldn't be thrown away, right? It's very dramatic and very emotional, but it's very effective, too, so that's really cool. So, I love that about them, and Dio is very, you know, dramatic, too, let's not forget. So, yeah, maybe he is the German Dio. That's a great, great way for someone, I forget who did that. It's like in one of the descriptions of the songs, someone said this, but anyway, so we're gonna continue, and then uh, I'm gonna show you some stuff here at the end of this song. I have more to show you after this. I will be there. If we go again, all the way from the start, I would try to change things that killed our love. The pride. I stayed, you know, I, I used, you know, Holy we and I love, right? I'm still staying in the spirit of Klaus, and normally I wouldn't sing like that. I wouldn't, you know, but I found that if I didn't do that, it didn't sound like Klaus at all. It sounded like, you know, a, a, again, a, a somebody from Deep Purple singing a Scorpion song. So I chose um, to go ahead and add that, you know, Holy we and I love, uh, oh, they killed our love. It's I A, right? All those kind of. Uh, ways that a person that uh, English is not their first language would say very correctly, so to speak, and then, you know, move on. And if I found out that if I didn't do that, it sounded kind of cheesy, so I just stayed in the spirit of the song. So, hey, I want to move towards the end here because um, I want to I want to show you, uh, let's see here, I think it's right about here. I decided to kind of ramp it up, you know, ramp it up a little bit more than Klaus did because I like in my demonstrations to not just demonstrate the artists themselves, but to say, hey, what can I contribute to this to take it up a little bit at least, or at least take some personality of myself and put it in the song to, you know, make it a little fresher and more interesting for me. I'm not saying I'm more awesome than Klaus whatsoever. I'm just saying, how can I, you know, contribute to this to make it worth listening to again? Um, so now I, I bring this up because I, I know I've said this a million times. I'll say it a million and one. I'm going to keep hammering this home is that um, Einstein said it best. He didn't say, he said that, um, that demonstration isn't a way to teach. It's the only way to teach. Let me say it again. Demonstration by way of demonstration isn't a way to teach. It's the only way to teach. It's the only way to really show you how to do something. So I chose to do these demonstrations to physically demonstrate them myself with me and my students so that you could see how this technique works very intricately. Now I see other vocal coaches on the internet claiming that um, they're gonna teach you how to do something in 30 days, uh, day singer, and or some other guy claims to be you know the most popular vocal coach on the internet, and uh, I'm not seeing them sing, certainly not like this, and certainly not the stuff I wanna sing. Um, so remember, in the words of one of my students, that a mentor can only take you as far as they have gone themselves. So if these guys can't demonstrate it themselves, and they don't show other students demonstrating it, they cannot teach you how to do it. It's smoke and mirrors. I want to move on to um, to, to Sarah now. Now Sarah is kind of cool because um, Sarah's very cool. Actually, she's a really really neat gal. Um, but in this specific case, because she uh, has a really unique story. You know, she started out really attending bar. She was a really good bartender and uh, she wanted to get out of that. She wanted to sing for a living and she has a natural talent, you know, nothing crazy though, but she had some natural talent and she was singing for a punk band at the time and not even that often, just, you know, just kind of like for fun, you know, once a month or whatever it was. And she came to me and she said, hey, you know, can you teach me how to sing? And her actual real singing style is a lot more like, you know, I'd say Karen Carpenter meets, uh, you know, and again, I'm saying this that, that's how she originally kind of came to me as a singer and then we developed a lot since then. But Stevie Nicks, 
very lighter, kind of smaller sounds and whatnot. But she has a love for, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s stuff, you know, as well. So she said, hey, I wanna, she sang a Dio song, which came out awesome, you know, we did a, a, that, I'll put that in the description just for fun, uh, so you can see other stuff that she said. Just look her up, Sarah Loera, she's killer. Um, anyway, and very diverse now, because she's really applied herself to a lot of different styles. Folks, this didn't just happen by accident. It didn't just drop in her lap. She had to work at this, and this is no exception here. So uh, we did, like I said, we did a Black Sabbath tune uh, on, on the same day, actually, and that we did the Scorpion song. So check this out. Girl, it's been a long time since we've been apart. Much too long for a man who needs love. I miss you since I've been away. I want to say she doesn't have Klaus's distortion yet, uh, but she's got a lot of the nuance. You know I like you, I can't wait for the nights with you, I imagine the things we do, I just want to be loved by you. Right. She's got all the nuance of Klaus when taking on this song, and then when we did Neon Nights, she sound, takes on some of the persona of Ronnie James Dio, right? But her background, like I said, is more Stevie Nicks, you know, even some Linda Rodstad, you know, much more of a laid-back vocal sound. But she can step up to step to the, up to the plate and and also engage in some of these kinds of things too. Now I don't expect her to be as you know awesome or me as awesome as Klaus, whatever. The point though is is that as you work this method and you understand how to get to these big places, the, these big vocal sounds, your voice will grow and grow and grow, and you can step into all of these really cool styles. So anyway, guys, I'm doing most all of this by request, so if you put whatever you want me to do, a uh, takedown of a, you know, your favorite vocalist or whatever, I'm happy to do what I can, and check out my next video. Bye.